All right, Saturday morning. I'm headed out to a spot I went to last weekend. There's a couple of toms out there. And I'm gonna try to slip in there. Hopefully they're roosted where they were last time. I all right, we're all set up. Not too far off, off of where I parked here. But I usually hit. They've been here a lot in the past and they are this again this morning. There's gotta be three to five toms in here. There's like a private cornfield in there. I'm kind of in the corner of it and they're surrounding it. There's one really hammering down far. There's one in front of me that's kind of quiet. And then there's kind of two in between that are go every now and again. And there might be one down farther. I'm kind of stuck in here. It's all this kind of thick brush. And this is like the only real big tree around to like lean up against. There's not like a good spot to be in. It's kind of open in front of me. It's thick and then it meets like a open CRP field kind of. So I'm kind of sitting right on the corner because last time I did this setup they kind of came right through here. So I'm hoping that works again. <laughs> There's birds everywhere. It sounds like the guy that I thought came in. I'm pretty sure it's a guy. He's walked past me, getting in front of these birds. And he is, if it is a guy, he's pretty good on a mouth call. And he's just getting him to fire off left and right. But there's birds everywhere. I can hear them behind me, in front of me, over to my left. I mean, they're just everywhere, but carrying the camera, I'm kind of stuck if I had a buddy with me to run this thing. We'd be running and gunning, we'd already be chasing them. I don't know what I'm gonna do, and now this guy's in my way. I could have to walk into him to do anything. I'm kind of a cluster now. All right, so it's been an hour since fly down. All the bridge shop. But they were all working for me. Uh, pack up. And I'm gonna head that way. And it's pretty open on the glass to see if I can find them. But first I gotta see if this guy is still here. Or if it was a guy at all. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go glass quick. Then I'm gonna check the parking lot. See if somebody else is here. And then make a plan. Alright, so we found one. Strutting. He's on private. But it butts up to public. I was just out there hunting. They were gobbling like crazy this morning, and then they shut up and disappeared. I thought somebody came in on me, and I didn't want to go reaping and get shot at. So I just wanted to make sure that I was the only one out there. So I came back to the truck, and there was nobody else out here. It was just my imagination. And then I wanted to make sure. I just wanted to look down the road because I could hear all their birds gobbling quite a bit. And I wanted to see if I could see any of them so I could make a play and try to reap them because they have shut up for an hour now. Nothing's happening. And I did find one. And he is just across the line on private. And I'm going to try to scoot in there with uh, Tom Brady and uh, see if we can't smash one here. Dang it, I got all the way down here. He was on the right side of the hill. He's probably 200 yards. He saw the decoy and he just put his fan out and ran. Seems to be what's going on this year. I'm soaking away from all this tall grass now and I gotta hoof it back to the truck and go back to the other spot and see if I can't reposition and make it happen. All right, well, we looped around. Got on this hill to see if I could spot where those birds went this morning and got in here and I got set up on this hill and I look over and there's a tom not strutting and walking away. I looped around from the bird I scared earlier. It could have been him or it could have been a different one. I'm not sure. Alright, so I was trying to walk out to get back to the truck. And a tom gobbled. I looped back around. And got on the same side as him because there's a ditch in the way. 
I sat down and I called a couple times and he hasn't responded and then some crows just went off and he gobbled again. So he's, there he is, lots closer. Yes! You gotta be kidding me! Come on, baby! Holy oh, crap! I can't believe that! I've been out here all morning after these things, and I was gonna give up, and I was gonna leave, and as I was gonna leave, I saw a Tom over here. And I started making my way that way, and then they cut back and they were going where I was never gonna get to them, it was too wide open. And then I was like, all right, whatever, I'm gonna go get breakfast and drive around and try to find a different one. And I uh, started walking out, and as I was walking out on this trail, it's wide open, I hear a gobble, and it's this Tom goes off. And I'm like, I better get back, but there's like this dike in the way so I have to like backtrack all the way around and I get on his side and get in the woods and I call to him nothing he's silent for like 15 minutes and I'm like I'm just gonna wait and then he gobbles I call to him shuts up so then I am like all right well obviously he doesn't want to hear my stuff so I just stay quiet he gobbles then he gobbles again and as long as they're not calling him, he keeps gobbling. And that's what he did. He gobbled and he got closer and he got interested and closer and closer and closer. And he was up in the field, which I can't hunt. 
and I could see his head just looking and looking and looking. I'm like, he is never going to come down in here. He's going to just stay up there. But sure enough, there he came down in and just made it down to where I could, where he was on the public side and I shot him. He was coming right at me though. Hey, stop it. He, he was coming down on the, he was coming right at me though. Like if I didn't shoot him then, he was gonna be right in my lap. That was like 10, 15 yards. Let's go grab him. There he is, boys and girls. There he is. I tried to quit like three times this morning and call it a day, but every time I did, I saw one, I heard one, and I just stuck it out. Honestly, I don't think I've ever killed a bird in the morning. It's always a midday deal. And there he was, alone, goblin. This might be the one I tried to reap this morning and ran away. And he finally just decided he was fired up, his hens were gone, and finally came in. I can't believe he came into the woods looking for me. That's crazy that it worked out like that. I really was getting discouraged about this season. What a fun hunt. Yeah, baby. I'm gonna send this to old Vincent. Oh.